Okay, question eight is a, a volume question, specifically looking at prisms. And prisms is basically you need to think of bread, not like sandwiches in terms of one of the later questions on trying to improve them, but you need to think of bread. So if I sliced this shape along the dotted line as shown, and I've not done it perfectly accurately, but if I sliced it along that, then what I would get is I would get the same slice as long as I cut it down straight. I would get the same shape on the end every single time, and that's what a prism means. A prism means I'm going to get the same shape on the end. So, well, to work out the volume of a prism, the volume of a prism is equal to the area of the cross section or the area of the slice, area of the cross section times by how long. And it goes up. So the volume of any prism is the area on the end, which I'm kind of shading in now, is that area on the end, and times by the 8, because it goes 8 back. So the trick is to find out what the area of the shape is on the end. Now, we can break this up into different shapes. There's lots of different ways of answering this question. You can also answer this question and pretend it's a cuboid and then take off this triangular prism slice on the corner, but I prefer just find an error in the end, multiply it by the legs, get back. So I'm going to divide it by the, up like this. If this is my shape, roughly like that, I'm going to divide it into a triangle there, a rectangle on the bottom and uh, a kind of another rectangle or it looks like a square in here but we'll have to check the numbers. So the length of the rectangle on the bottom is 12 centimeters. This height from here to here up to the first bend or the first corner is actually 5 centimeters. Um, this length across the top we can just see is seven centimeters and then up the side we should have 15 for the whole length so that means from here to here and i know it doesn't look like it because my drawing's not very good it means we've got 10 centimeters here we need one more length it's this centimeter here so we've got seven from here to here we're in 12 all the way on the bottom, so it means this little gap here is 5 centimeters. Now, if I work out the area of each of these bits individually, then um, if I work out the area of each of these individually, then I can add them together to find the area and then multiply it by the length. So the cross section, so we've got 5 times 20, which gives us 60 centimeters squared for the bottom rectangle. 10 by 7 here, which gives us 7 centimeters squared. And we've got a little rectangle, um, triangle here, sorry. So if I divide it up, that's a 5 by 10, so it should be 50 for this rectangle in the corner, but because it's a triangle, it's half of it, it's 25 centimeters squared. So that means that the cross section is equal to a total of 130, 155 centimetres squared for the cross section. Now, if I go back to then calculate the volume, all I've got to do for the volume is do the 155 I've got here for the area on the end, which I shaded in blue here. All I've got to then do is multiply it by the 8 going backwards. So times about eight. Just grab my calculator. I've only got 30 seconds left for this video. So 155 times about eight equals 1,240 centimeters cubed. Now it's really important I include the unit. Oh, they've got the units down there for me. But you might want to go back over and watch this video and check that how I calculated, how I broke up the area, and then I worked out. For the area of the cross section and then times by length to give me the volume. Okay.